Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day so far. In this video, we're going to be continuing with our prepping for 6.1 by giving you guys a list of items that you guys should be farming and hoarding for 6.1. All right, so before we continue, just know that I have no idea what is going to be added into the new recipes. All I know is that Square Enix likes to go with old materials and of course a pattern. All right, so the very first thing that we know that we're going to be using in the new recipes is going to be the tombstone materials for aphorism. All right, so make sure you have a crap ton of these at your disposal. Now, in order to make those tombstone materials, obviously, you are going to be wanting the gatherable items as well, such as rhyme dolomite. Golden Cocoons, the Double Edge Herb, and also I recommend Stone Hard Water just in case. You also want the Rhodium Sand, Lunar Adamantite, and these logs right here. So make sure you stock up on all these as well. Do not sell them because they'll most likely jack up in price when 6.1 comes out. Next thing you want to do is get end stone, end wood, and end tide aether sands. These are most likely going to be reused and rehashed in 6.1. Now, for base materials, you would want to stock up on chondrite and chondrite ingots. You also want to stock up on maybe possible uh, store quartz, maybe the Nite whetstones, just in case. For leather worker, you want to make sure that you have these leathers right here, the uh, Taurus leather. You also want the Arcan velvet. You want these as well. And as for Alchemist, I can't really say for sure because they're all over the place, but definitely materials to make your drops and your commands as well because you're going to be needing these just in case. So make sure you have all these materials ready and set to go. Now, they are also most likely going to add in a new script item. So in Shadowbringers, we ended up needing the... pliable glass fibers and as you can see here the sublime solutions were the new script item that we ended up getting i think they were white at the time at level 80 so most likely you're going to be needing a crap ton of purple scripts in order to buy whatever script item that we get now the best way to get your purple scripts is by doing the blacksmith collectibles the reason why this is because you are going to be crafting these for spirit bonding to get your materia, which you guys are definitely going to be needing in 6.1 if you plan on melding the new set, even though you don't really need to meld until 6.2. Having all these materials already made out, you'll be able to make the Lapidary Hammers to pass in for Purple Scripts. If you don't want to do it that way, you can do Culinarian, but unfortunately you're not going to be spirit bonding with Culinarian because the materials for these are too low because level 90, I think the palm sugar is like, let's see here. The palm sugar is 82, so you're not gonna get any spirit bond out of that. So doing culinarian is not gonna be very good for spirit bonding. All right, so stick to doing blacksmith if you can. The other thing you guys want to have done, if you haven't done this already, is get your Master Recipe books. So you need Master Recipe book number 9, because this is where the crafter set will be here, in book number 9. Now the best and easiest item to farm to get white scripts to get those books are going to be the raceries, the rarefied ones. Since all these materials are gatherable only, there's no crafting in between. You will get 54 white scripts per turn in, but you can two button macro these ones and knock them off within five minutes. All right, since the Master Recipe books number nine are already available, you guys can work on this 
right now. So make sure that you have all your books ready to go. So guys, I think that's going to be it for the item preparation for 6.1. If there's anything you guys think that might be valuable to farm before 6.1, please put them in the comment section down below so everyone else can see what they should also be stocking up on. But this is all, like I said, speculation, plus the patterns that we see in previous expansions. Alright guys, so that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, and or concerns, please put them in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out with any questions you might have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content and join the first brood. As a reminder, make sure that, that notification bell next to my subscribe button is where you guys never miss an upload and join my Discord server by hitting the world icon on my YouTube banner. I also have YouTube memberships available for anybody who wants to help make this a full-time career for me. Both are completely optional. So until next time, may forever walk in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut, and always remember to keep forging ahead.